Apple just released their announcement date, which is going to be September 9th, is just a few weeks away. And this is going to be hypothetically for the announcement of their iPhone 16 and their Apple Watches, maybe a few other products. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt. This is Dwar Creatives. And today, as I just mentioned, we're going to be kind of talking about what rumors I've seen for the iPhone 16 because I might be upgrading to that. Well, both my wife and I might be upgrading to that once it does come out because we have older phones. So as I talk about just a few little details for this two minute Tuesday, first of all, we're gonna see if I can stick to that two minutes. And then second, I'm gonna be fixing my wife's iPhone 11 Pro Max screen busted out. So as we talk about it, I'm just gonna show that as I replace the screen. So let's get this started. Right off the bat, the 16 Pro models, they're gonna have a bigger size screen. Supposedly it's like 6.3 and 6.7. These are gonna be the biggest iPhones to date. So that's going to be really interesting. I do prefer the large one just makes when you're using it a lot more usable. But then again, when you're trying to pocket in it, everything, it kind of gets white. There's going to be four models. So the 16, 16 plus, 16 pro, 16 pro max. On the 16 and 16 plus, it looks like they're doing colors kind of similar to the old, I think it was iPhone 5C that had those really bright colors. So that's what it reminds me of. It has the vertical cameras. Let's just jump to the processor. It's supposed to be the A18 processor. They're, I'm assuming, doing this so that they can handle the Apple intelligence. And that would be something that's really interesting, seeing what they really do with that. If you want that, hypothetically, you have to upgrade to the 16. The back models will not be able to handle that. So that may be something that will force you to upgrade if you really want that. What I'm interested in is in the improved 48 megapixel ultra wide lens and then the five times telezoom lens. A while ago, way before I even had like the 12 Max Pro, I did a 365 and I primarily did it only with my iPhone at the time. I got some really great results. So if I have, you know, again, the 16 with everything that comes with it at my fingertips, I think it would be a really good tool to have, especially if you're a content creator or if you're just taking everyday photos and videos for yourself. Two more things. So there looks like they're including an action button. I guess you can kind of program this. For me, it would be like for a camera stuff, but you can do a few different things. Supposedly, like uh, you can use this flashlight, maybe shortcut to do this or that, translate, turn in the silent mode on and off. We'll have to see what it does. The other thing that is worth mentioning is that hypothetically, it's going to be using a stack battery technology which would be higher capacity and longer lifespan that would be interesting seeing how all that plays out if it's more efficient if you do get a better battery life my current phone is on the older end it's about 80 percent left and i have to charge it at least once of the day so it'd be nice not to have to worry about that so i'm gonna just kind of wrap this up here let me know what you think are you an apple fan would you upgrade to this are you just going to still hold out for maybe the 17? I know there's already rumors about that, but like... And if you're not a fan of Apple, why not? Why wouldn't you switch over? I know a lot of Android are a lot more customizable. Technically a little bit more advanced. But I haven't made the switch back to Android fully, so... Why would you not switch to Apple? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I always like seeing what you have to say. And that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap it up right here. I know I kind of went over 2 Minute Tuesday a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.